Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Jeff at Ferrari FXS. Uh, today I'll be doing a seat belt removal on a Ferrari 458 Italia Spider. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, first thing we're going to remove the uh, battery. We're going to disconnect the battery. And then uh, from there we're going to go ahead and remove some trim pieces. So let me go ahead and uh, get started on that and uh, show you what we're doing. So uh, we've already got the battery disconnected, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, we've actually retracted the top on this because just to give us more room. But uh, if you don't know already, to uh, disconnect the battery, you have to take the screw out below on the uh, passenger footwell here on the upper right. You'll be able to retract this then. And then your battery is on the left. Remove the ground. I put an insulator in between the uh, terminal and the post just to keep it from uh, sparking in that so uh anyway that's how i have that right now so what we're going to do next is uh we're going to get this belt removed so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and then you're going to remove this piece of trim here to expose the screw so we're going to kind of like pull back on this gently and uh, expose the screw down here in the corner as you can see right there, uh, you're going to remove this screw, and then the rest of it uh, is kind of like a push fit. So we'll just have to pull back on that slightly and then disconnect a wire on the speaker. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take this screw out and then uh, proceed on. All right. All right. So we've loosened this number four Allen right here. Um, as you can see, like I said, the, we removed the trim here, just kind of like set it to the side here. And uh, we took this uh, number four Allen screw part, and now you can see this panel is somewhat loose. Uh, we're going to try to feed this out of here. As you can see, this kind of like pulls up a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can get this out of here. And then uh, remove the connector on the speaker so we can get access to the seat belt assembly itself. All right. All right, so I've got this panel slid out. Like I said, it kind of is tucked up there, and this kind of catches the upper panel here. So we pull that down. Now this has an aftermarket stereo in it, so your wiring may be different. Um, but uh, I'm going to notate where these wires are on this one here, and then disconnect them, and then uh, go ahead and proceed on. As you can see, the reel that we're trying to get to is behind here. So uh, this actually, like I said, has some extra material that... A standard 458 would not have like it has these speakers back here so you're not gonna have this extra panel so uh, yours may be different so uh, we're gonna go ahead and proceed on on this one all right uh, we had to uh, retract the top a little bit to get access to one of the screws so uh, we retracted the or we're going to open the top a little bit as you can see and we had to stop in that position it's gonna create a fault because we stopped in that position. We disconnected the battery. Uh, we'll probably have to clear some faults when we get done here. Um, but you need access to this screw right here to remove this panel. So uh, that's why we did that. We're gonna go ahead and remove this screw and I believe that's gonna be a number four again. Uh, we'll check it out here. We'll see if that's a four. Um, if I can find my Allen wrench. All right, uh, this is a number three Allen. And then uh, I noticed there's some shims behind here. So uh, you probably wanna pay attention to how many shims there are. And uh, before you uh, proceed on, just try to catch them, make sure they don't fall down. And I'm sure that each vehicle is gonna be different. But it looks like there's uh, three shims on this one. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove that piece and then uh, proceed on. All right, so uh, after we remove this screw here, there's two silver screws down in that area. I don't know if you can really see it, but you might see the bracket. It's gonna be hard to see here. Um, as you can see, let me see if I can get this light. I've already removed the screws, but you can see the two holes right down in there. There's two screws that, that are, the heads are facing up. They're number threes that you have to remove. And then once you remove those two screws, which they're over here, 
right here, you remove those two screws, this panel will come loose and then you can just take it forward. And then it kind of tucks up underneath this other panel to your left, it kind of tucks up underneath there. So then uh, to remove this, we're gonna to have to uh, let that lay like that for a second. And then uh, we're gonna to have to remove the bolt for this and then the bolts for this. So uh, we're gonna do that and then uh, we'll have to take this cover off right here, which is right here. This cover right here has to be popped off. And I'm not sure what size bolt this is, I'll, I'll let you know, but uh, that has to be removed. And then uh, the whole thing should come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and uh, proceed on. All right, uh, I've loosened this screw on the seat. This is a 17 millimeter. Um, let me see, it might have some shims underneath it, so pay attention to how it's built up. Um, also, the bracket up here, this is a 17 also. It looks like it has a spacer behind it, so uh, keep in mind that spacer there. Let me see if I can put a light on it. I don't know where my light went. All right, so you can see that's the spacer. So uh, keep in mind that that is there. And then uh, we'll have to get access to the bottom bolt on the reel there. So, uh, and then there should be a connector at the top here. As you can see that green connector, we'll have to disconnect that also. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed on, all right? Okay, um, as you see, I've taken this one off the seat, and you can see it has like a spring washer here on, under the head, and then a spacer on this side, and then a fiber washer. So uh, keep in mind how that's built up. So uh, when it goes back together, you put it in the same same, same spots. All right? All right, to, to feed the seat belt through this panel, you got to take these two Phillips heads out, and then this bracket will separate here, and then we'll be able to feed the seat belt all the way through this panel. So I want to get this panel out of here. So I'm going to remove these two screws and then do that. Okay, also uh, when you remove this piece, uh, there's a little screw here that just has to be removed. And uh, once you remove that, then this piece will split to allow this buckle to pass through it. So, um, and it's pr pretty small. Don't lose it. So uh, I'm going to take that apart so I can split that and take this belt out of this panel. All right, so I've got the belt fed through the panel now, and I'm proceeding onto this buckle up here, or it's actually like a shoulder position. Um, so I've got it loose, 17 millimeter, and just pay attention to the spacer. So I'm gonna take that out and uh, get it removed, and then I'll proceed on to the reel itself, which is below. And then like I said, once I get this out of the way, I'm gonna disconnect this make sure your battery is disconnected like I said before I mean I had to hook it back up to move the top so we're gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect the battery and make sure it's disconnected before you remove this um, connector off the actuator here all right all right so I've removed this top connector on the seat belt assembly I've also removed this connector uh, you'll have to put the two tabs on the side remove it and just pull straight up. So uh, that's removed. So now I'm just going to proceed on to removing the uh, attach hardware for the reel itself. So I'm going to go ahead and locate that and then uh, remove that and then uh, this should be uh, be able to remove this. All right so uh, there's a 17 millimeter on the bottom of the reel. I don't know if you can see that bolt right there. Um, the better angle that's a 17 also i have it loose so i'm going to go ahead and continue to take it out and then once that's loose i believe that reel and the whole belt assembly will be removed from the car all right so i have the uh, belt assembly on the ground here right now and uh once you get the bolt down the here, there's like a retaining clip here on this one piece right here and it kind of sits in a little bracket so you have to like lift up on it 
once you get this bolt out and it, then it should come right out, okay? So it kind of sits, I don't know if I can show you. So it's kind of tight spot, but you can see the bolt that I have. That's the bolt I just put, put it back in. And uh, there's a little notch right above that where that reel catches. So uh, when you're going back in, just make pay attention, that's where it goes. And uh, I stuck the other hardware back in where it goes just to kind of help keep track of where stuff is. Uh, same thing on the seat. Keeps it in the proper order. So uh, that completes this side. So I'm going to do a repeat on the other side. And uh, hopefully we'll get these sent out uh, in the morning. All right. So uh, we're on the driver's side now. And we're just going to do, like I said, a repeat of what we did before. Um, we're going to remove this screw up here. Two down in here, uh, remove a screw down in here, and then this panel kind of tucks up underneath this other one. They're kind of interconnected. So we're gonna disconnect all those panels there, uh, and then uh, proceed on. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this trim right now. Just kind of, like I said, just kind of pull it like that. And then uh, as you can see here, it exposes this, I think, believe that was a number four Allen. We'll remove that. And then uh, we'll disconnect the speaker. All right. And like I said, this one has aftermarket speakers, so the wiring is going to be different than your car. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. All right. I've removed the bottom panel. Like I said, this has got some aftermarket stereos, so the wiring is going to be different. So um, the next thing is that you want to do is remove this upper panel. And uh, you should have a fastener right here. This car is missing both of them on both sides. So they're we're already removed, but you should have a fastener that goes and captures this bracket right here. All right. So you're gonna have to remove that one, this one up here, and the two going vertical right in here. And that will remove this panel here. So that's how to remove that. And then, like I said, once you get that loose, you'll have to take the two screws off of here, and then the one screw that you can split this, and then you can take the belt through the panel. So we're gonna go ahead and do that at this time. Uh, and uh, get that ready to take the belt out. All right, so I've got, this is a three, so this is loose. And then uh, I'm gonna show you here where these two vertical ones are on this side. So I've got the Allen wrench stuck in them, or in one of them. And as you can see, let me try to get the light there. That's where they are. So you remove those two. They're number three Allen also. And that'll, that'll loosen the top here. Um, be careful, you can probably use a magnet to catch those because there's a lot of stuff in the way down there you'll lose everything um, so it'll be difficult to find so you may want to use a magnet when you're pulling those out so I'm gonna go ahead and take those out this time also don't forget about your shims okay each car is gonna be a little different looks like there's just two on this side there was three on it so yeah you want to capture those before you pull those screw out because they'll fall down into no man's land other than that just keep an eye on them all right. All right, so I've detached the seat belt from here. I fed it to the other panel. I removed that, the plastic bezel out of it. And then now we're up to this upper attach point. This popped the cover off. That's a 17 millimeter also. And so is the bolt that holds your uh, reel assembly. That's a 17. And then we have to, the wire again back there. So uh, like I said, you want the battery off when you do this. So we're going to go ahead and, like I said, there's shims here. And uh, pay attention with how that goes back together. So we're going to go ahead and take this apart and then disconnect that connector. And then we should be done with this. All right. So I've disconnected the, uh, or I've removed the bolt on the reel, which is the 17 millimeter. And as you can see, maybe, I don't know if you'll show you here, that reel is captured. It's got like a little silver tang. I, could, I wish I had three hands because I, I really can't do this without putting the phone down. But I'd like to show you. But that is captured on the back side there. And all you have to do is lift straight up after the bolt is removed. And that will disengage the reel assembly. So like I said, uh, don't forget to remove your wire there also. And uh, make sure it's out of the way if you... Uh, turn power back on and move the top because we are going to do that because I don't want the top to be in that position for the next few days. So make sure that wire there 
is out of the track assembly for the top. Uh, you don't want to cap capture it or catch it because then you'll uh, triple uh, you'll have set a fault and then you'll be repairing wiring and some other stuff. So uh, keep that in mind. You might want to stow that somewhere safe. Right, uh, we put everything back temporarily now. We put the top back down. Um, so we've got a couple fault issues now because the airbags because they're out for the seat belt or the reels for the seat belt. We've got some faults on that. We'll have to clear later on. Um, but uh, right now we've got the belts removed. We're getting ready to send them out. There they are in the box, getting ready to ship. So uh, we'll reinstall these in a few days. They're supposed to be sent out and they'll probably be back within a week. So uh, we'll have to do another video on the re reinstallation of these and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching and then continue watching on uh, our other videos we'll be doing on this car. We've got other projects going on. So please stay tuned and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.